with you on some guys. Go twin. Think I can fly when I'm with you. I'm too wild. Catch you on fire as the wind blows. I'm a very rich enough for pride. I see you being dollars in your What's up, you guys? Back at it again with another video. About to do a little bumper. Uh, fabrication today on this little sexy lady right here as you can see there is no zero way of putting this thing on like better than another one I'm about to cut this baby in half and then I'm gonna end up seeing how I like it and putting it on the new cars to make it more wide body just give it kind of like a better like a better look like something different um, so we're gonna cut that in half today see how that looks and let's get into it so this is what I'm talking about right here guys See how it just kind of tucks underneath this bump. But there's no nothing to like underneath this that will be able to make it so that it can like fit on perfectly. So I'm thinking about cutting it in half and then see what I can do there and then zip tie it and see how it looks. But we'll see what we can do. Let's get started. All right guys, as you can see, Miata, I put the other Miata bumper off. I took everything off. I know it's probably like super like just crazy, bro. If you look at it though, it's like it doesn't fit right. You can see right there. It just doesn't like fit on the bumper. The rest does. But that's just too far apart. Like that gapping, like you can see right there, it's just too far. I mean, it gives it like a nice little curve because I like that end piece right there. It kind of, it's not like that slim. Probably gonna have to cut this in half. Um, it's the same thing on the other side. You can see it from like right there. But it fits good. But this is what I'm talking about right here. You know, this bumper it cuts off like right here, and it doesn't have this stripping right here like how the zip ties have to be able to to tie it on. So just cut it right in half, and then I'm gonna try to put it on and see what I like, and maybe condense it. But it's only just the side. Looks like I'm gonna have to cut some of this bumper off, like right here, and then just attach this one on right here. Cause I mean, I would keep the stock on, but I just wanted something that I just like. This quarter panel piece looks cool when it has this backing right here, you know. And me and my brother they bought this bumper, and it's not gonna work anyway, so you must just use the piece. Cause these pieces would usually cost hundred dollars just for this quarter of the thing they would just give you like they'd cut this and just give you this basically and you just slap it on the back so that's what I'm probably gonna do I just need to just figure out what I need to cut more probably gonna cut right here and then just come up a little bit like right there All right guys, after measuring some stuff, it looks like this isn't gonna fit on there like that. I mean, it will look kind of tacky anyways, cause it has this. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up straight here. So only this piece is actually really gonna stay on. So I was gonna cut off. I tried to adjust as much as I could, but it's gonna have to be like that. All right guys, it looks pretty sick. So it goes on like right here at the bottom of it which sits pretty flush, so it's pretty nice. So it comes up over the top. So I can just basically uh, just bolt something in here, bolt something like bolt two bolts into here. And then I can just easily just, just have something that, that kind of sits on the sides too as well. But it looks pretty cool. I just got to cut the bumper right here on this side and cut it and adjust it to how the thing's gonna go. So. All right, for you guys to see what I'm about to do. So it sits on the bumper like this, pretty like nice and flush, right? Not too bad. And then you go underneath the car. So I'm probably going to have to cut all that back to there, back to that piece. So I'm going to have to cut like right here, all the way back up to here, just up to that piece like right there. 
where this corner is and then just like kind of cut around it so that way it fits on better so that way the, uh, when you look at it from the, from the back you don't see this little corner piece sticking you know, out it's just flush with this So much better. Probably gonna cut a little more. Perfecto, baby. Yeah, that looks good. I will say, you guys, though, when you're cutting this body kit, make sure that you guys cut like if you guys are ever doing body work and you're cutting anything, make sure you always cut less than you would because that way if you mess up, you kind of screwed, you can't go back. So I cut like less so that way it should be here, but I cut here because I want to make sure like get the accurate, like get it perfect. And you can't get it perfect if you don't like cut more to work with. That way if you do mess up, yeah, it's easier to fix it, you know, if, when I do this, then if I cut it right here, then all oh, this looks shitty, you know. So you have more more opportunity to work with this when you cut it like this to get more room and then you just look at the car. Then you go fit it on there and you see how it works. You guys, it's time to drill some holes so we can get these bad boys nice and fitted. And that way, I can take this thing back bumper up and start cleaning this thing car so I can wrap this baby soon. Let's get it. see there's holes all over it so I can make sure I can zip lock, zip tie it down and then I'm gonna take the bumper off so I can get this side right here I'm about to go on to the next side
as you can see, I've got all my holes pre-drilled throughout my bumper. Now I gotta take this bad boy off and yeah, it's gonna be difficult, but you know, I believe that I can do it. It's, it's gonna be rough, you know, but gotta do what I gotta do. Gotta take it out, send it down, and then, well first gotta bolt in the sides and then send it down and that will be good to go. Let's get it. It's been a long day. Um, I got a lot done to the car. I drew pre drilled the holes. I cleaned my car out. Just, like really just get like some stuff that was like little done. Um, I wasn't really able to wrap the car. Uh, it's because you need two people and it was just, it's just too hard to try to just do it all by myself. I'm not gonna lie, I can't do everything by myself, you know? Like I'm, I'm a very stubborn person, but I just know I couldn't. I couldn't do it, guys. I'm sorry I failed you. But I'll be back at it soon again to be able to do it. But I'll bring my brother or somebody else to come help me. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. What's up, you guys? Uh, so I just wanted to talk to you guys, have a little heart-to-heart. -heart. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that like a lot of things I do on my car, um, I'm not a professional, um, but I'm just so used to working on cars because me and my brother have been building cars since we were like 18. Um, so it's just all from experience. Um, especially with the body kit and body work. I've just been doing body work on a lot of my past previous cars that I've had and um, on my brother's cars or other people's cars. So it's just from experience. I'm not a professional. I'm just trying to give you guys advice and tips like on how to help you guys and like how to help you guys build your cars. Maybe like some of the stuff will work, sometimes it won't. But I'm just trying to help you guys and give you guys advice and just try to help you guys out. Um, another thing guys, if you guys haven't liked this video and subscribe, please like the video and subscribe guys. I just wanted to get the car done right. Uh, I wanted somebody to help me with the wrap. I haven't wrapped a car before. My first time was with my buddy Luis. Obviously you guys seen it in the last video. Um, but uh, I want to be able to do it right. I didn't want to do a half, half ass job. Uh, especially by myself um, you know I've been doing like vinyl stuff as far as like wrapping like like gas caps and stuff like that like just little stuff 
but like I haven't done anything like crazy, you know? So like I just want to be able to do it right. Obviously guys, I just have experience. I'm not a professional, so everything I do on my channel is like through my own experience. But I just hope that I can help you guys in some way. Hopefully I'll be able to get the car down for you guys. It'll be awesome. I know it's going to be looking really sick. I know you guys will be excited to see it. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for your support. Um, and just please comment down below what you guys want to see next or what you guys are interested in seeing. Um, but if you haven't liked, subscribe, please like and subscribe to the video. Remember guys, even when stuff uh, doesn't go your way, um, just always be positive. But remember, just keep finding a way.